Well folks, I'm uh, out here in the bush again. And uh, today I'm going to show you my DIY wood stove. I already was out here once, did the initial burn to get the galvanizing off the stove pipe. But uh, I want to do a second burn on it and I think I'm going to show you how I built it. It's just simple tools like a jigsaw, a drill, and some tin snips. There's no welding involved. And uh, got it right here on the sled, and I'm going to show you how I did it. So for those wondering, this is just a large ammo can. Um, it's just something I picked up at uh, one of the surplus stores. You can see there's, uh, it's, everything's encased in the box. The legs aren't on it, the stovepipe and everything are inside the box. All right, so starting with the top, um, this here is a four inch hole. I just used uh, a hot chocolate container. I put that down, I traced around it uh, with a permanent marker, and then on the inside of the circle, I drilled a hole through. Uh, that's when I put the jigsaw in. I just used a standard metal blade, and then I just followed the inside of the circle and actually cut through the steel pretty good. So, like I was saying, I got uh, everything inside, including the legs. This here is just galvanized pipe that you find at your local hardware store. So what I did is I did cut it with tin snips so it fits inside the box. And the pieces that I cut, I actually recrimped so I can use them. Um, all I did was took some needle nose pliers, went in here, and gave it a little twist. And I kind of just did that the whole way around, so that way I wasn't wasting any pipe. So as for the legs, uh, they're down at the bottom. Um, they're both exactly the same, so it doesn't really matter which one you use for the front or the back. What I have here is just a simple piece of steel. It was just laying around work. Um, I went and I bought some six inch by 38 inch bolts. And I had to buy two nuts for each bolt and a wing nut so I could remove them off the bottom of the can. And yeah, I just um, drilled some holes. There's the nut to pinch it onto the bottom of the leg. And then another nut up here for underneath the can and the wing nut goes on the inside of the box here. I'll show you how I did that. So on the very bottom of the can, I just went in about an inch and a half from the corner. So when I go down on the inside of the can, I can put that wing nut on. And all that happens is, so that's a, 3 8 hole, uh, same as this uh, bolt here. The way I take the wing nuts off, and these legs just fit in the hole, and then I go on the inside of the can, put the wing nuts on, and that's like the first leg. All right, so one of the last things I did was uh, the hinge and the deadbolt that I had to put on and uh, cut the door out. Uh, just a little tip, before you even cut the door, um, you want to trace out where the door is going to go, put your hinge and your deadbolt on, and then make black dots where the holes are going to be. Then drill your holes. So for these self-tapping screws, because that's what they are, I made the holes a little bit smaller than the screws themselves so when I put the screw in it has something to bite into so that's just something to keep in mind anyway once all the holes were uh, drilled then I cut the door so that I wasn't messing around with uh, a loose door doing this and this side here
All right, so one thing to uh, I wanted to point out is um, because this is a four inch pipe, four inch hole on top, I put a couple screws, just self tapping screws around the stove pipe. There's four of them. That just keeps the stove pipe from going all the way in. So with just a little tiny fire in there, my pants are steaming off. It is warm in here. And that's even with these little gaffs, which is good because it brings the fresh air in. There's little gaps all around. This ground's not very even, so. But uh, one person could easily sleep in here. So also what I did here is I duct taped around where I cut the hole out and then I just put a slit on either end of the stick here and just kind of pinched it in and that's keeping the pipe off the tarp. What I should have did is put another one here between these sticks and again on this side but um, it's staying there anyway so. Alright that's the end of today's video. That's how I built the stove. That's the ammo can campfire stove for a hot tent. I just threw a tarp up, cut a hole in it, and uh, threw the stove in when I was done, and it's uh, super hot in there right now. I'm going to let that cool down. I'm going to pack up and head out of here, and uh, I think there's going to be a camping trip coming up in the near future with this setup. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below in the comment section, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.